Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may find yourself. I'm here driving in Southern California, and I just wanted to share an inspirational, incredible message that I heard from a from a holy, special soul, uh, a kindred spirit. Uh, we can learn from God puts people in our lives at the, at the right times, sometimes to give us a message, and sometimes for us to be the transfers of that message so other people can hear it. And the first principle that all of us, whether we are aware of it or not, should hopefully become aware of is that we are living in a world that's that's very, very deep. And that there are there is a whole reality behind the scenes, as many times we hear Rob Dror pointing out, uh, that this reality uh, is a spiritual reality and it's it's teaching us that whatever we experience on the surface of things is really sometimes just the, the tip of the iceberg. And we know that an iceberg, most of that uh, amount is under the surface. An iceberg's tip is above the ocean. Go online, take a look at pictures of icebergs under the ocean, you'll see what, what, what I'm referring to here. So this, this person told me just a couple hours ago this morning that we're approaching Thanksgiving. And we know whether or not you think it's important to celebrate or whether you've got other things to do. This is one of the unique holidays in, in American history that is something that is so pivotal, so important, so inspirational that it can really be transformative in a very positive way. So his message was that Thursday, God willing, many people will be sitting down to eat food with their families. You're talking about hundreds of thousands to millions of people, not even in the United States, but all around the world, may, may celebrate it in the, in the spirit of Thanksgiving. He says, think about what's going on. You have people, many are Christian, many are Muslim, some are Jewish, some may be whatever, Buddhist, Hindu, other, other, other perspectives. These are people They're sitting down to a meal, and they're being thankful for that meal, for their family, and look what's happening. He says, when the Creator, God, sees all this, imagine, within a matter of hours, you have hundreds of thousands or millions of people sitting down all around the world at a table, thanking Him for the food they have, the families they have, and hopefully praying that other people that are less fortunate will be blessed as well. He says, when so many people around the world are thanking the Creator for what they're given, this makes the Creator so happy, He's going to see all of His children. Look at this. All of my children are sitting, thanking, being thankful, and being grateful. And He says, that act right there of many people from different backgrounds, united with one purpose, to be thankful and grateful for what they have, he says, this for sure will come up to heaven. And by that, God will be so happy by his children being so grateful that he will want to give an abundance of blessings for every one that the blessings will reach. This is a very good thing for the whole world. And this is something that is so powerful because we live in a, in a, in a spiritual reality. We are in an era right now where humanity is, is being... United in, in a tremendous way, and there's a lot of challenges with that. There are so many different things, but at the same time, there's a, a, a fundamental, metaphysical, spiritual core behind this transformation of technology that's taking place to allow the, the truth to spread in the world. We're not talking about everybody convert to this or that. No, the truth, which is beyond religion, that either something is true or something is, is false. For hundreds and thousands of years, a few people may have been connected to this quote truth end quote, and the masses have been either blinded from it or because it wasn't um, favorable for the ruling classes to allow the others to know what's happening. This is something that we go to, unfortunately, until to this day. If it was so easy as everybody to know in the world that the one truth, it would unite humanity. The few people that that don't want the truth to be out there would be overpowered by the masses just by majority that would want the the knowledge to spread. And we know spiritually there's momentum happening as well. But it's a matter of time because we are we are told by by the, the ancient sources that 
the source of the universe is good, and the outcome will be good, and even the means and the ways and the channels to get there, deep, deeper, looking at it in a very deeper essence, they already are also possessing the good. It's just a matter of whether that good is revealed or not. So that's a whole other story. So I wanted to share with you guys that amazing thing that we can focus on that as we get into, hopefully towards Thanksgiving, people uniting to, be, to give gratitude for what we have because as I've heard pointed out many times before, this stuff is an ode to us. Who's to say that you're owed another breath, another heartbeat, another food in your refrigerator? Who's to say that you're owed uh, a family member or a friend or a car or even fresh air? You can't take anything for granted. When enough people start to realize how much gratitude really matters and how grateful we should be for the smallest, biggest things, this spiritually allows for more blessings to come in because it builds the vessels for the blessings to find a home, a fitting receptacle to be collected. And this is something that Thanksgiving is a unique American, quote-unquote, holiday that can be so transformative for everybody. And God willing, if we, if we go on the path of, of gratitude, uh, of, of thanking, and of recognizing the good, it will allow in heaven the desire for more good to be revealed and bestowed upon us. And the more gratitude, the more blessings, the more blessings to be revealed, God willing, and the more gratitude that they will um, uh, inspire amongst the recipients. And it's basically like, as they say, an upward spiral. So I hope and pray that, that you will be thankful today, that, that your loved ones will be thankful today, that, that you will... You will pray for people that need help because being grateful and thankful does not exempt one from praying, especially for the loved ones and those around us. So thanking for the past as the spiritual teachings go and requesting for the future. That's a, that's a complete prayer. Thankful for what you are given and requesting for what you hope to be given. And ultimately, as we know, there's so many ways and so many means and channels and, and routes but this, this idea of gratitude, breaking the boundaries and yielding miracles, just to close this inspirational thought that came to me some weeks ago, it's like you have, and these thoughts aren't necessarily only my own, I've been, I've been thankful to learn uh, these teachings of emunah, of, of, of gratitude, of prayer for, for some years due to our teachers that are trying to spread these wellsprings for the whole world to benefit from. So it's like... People we know, people have arteries. And, and God forbid if there's an issue with an artery being clogged, it could be a problem. So God willing, the artery should flow freely. So from spirituality to physicality, there's arteries connecting this world to the, the spiritual realms, ultimately back to the Creator, who's the source of all good. And sometimes those arteries get clogged by judgments, by... aren't nice to other people or to themselves or the environment or to their creator, etc. So many things can cause the arteries from, from the upper to the lower to become blocked. And that's sometimes when people have challenges, whether it's health or wealth or, or any number of challenges. And God willing, God should help us all to have blessings in our lives and to reveal the good within the world and to allow more revealed good to spread in the world. But anyways, so the teaching is that when a person focuses on, on the gratitude, on the thankfulness, on, on, the, on the essential good, and, and starts to work on their grateful focus, then that, in a way, opens up the clogged arteries from heaven and allow the bounty and the blessings to come forth. Because God is always sending blessing into the world. God is always good, only good, never anything but good. He is the source of good. Unfortunately, though, the reception in this world is not always picking up that good because the arteries many times are either partly or mostly blocked. So this, this from a below strengthening of gratitude will open the arteries from above and the blessings come forth. And that's why many people even say, many spiritual um, the teachers say that before you are going to pray for something, before you're going to request something from heaven, from God, first give thanks. First be grateful. First start your prayers with thanks because that opens up the arteries and the blessings will flow through. So be thankful, be grateful, be thankful, and also pray for those all around us, everybody, 
to witness the revelation of God's goodness in the world, in this world, not only in heaven, in this world, to be revealed for all of us, as Isaiah the prophet says, the knowledge of God will spread forth across the whole world, covering the seafloor like the waters and more. God willing. Take care. Bless you.